Hello, my name is Sally Pinto, and I'm the program director for the Yonkers Nork Neighborhood Naturally Occurring Retirement Community. We serve seniors 60 plus in Northeast Yonkers. We are under the auspices of WJCS and the Yonkers Office for the Aging. We also have a resource specialist and a nurse on staff. We conduct virtual programming when partnership with the Yonkers Public Library on a daily basis. Enjoy the program. Thank you very much. Um, excited to be here as always. Get our workout on. So we're going to go ahead and get started, guys. Um, like usual, we're going to start with our chin tucks and our head turns, just to kind of wake up the, uh, the, uh, the the neck area here. So seated or standing, we're going to go ahead. And we're just going to tuck the chin back. Ten, nine, eight, small movement, seven. Six, you should feel a stretch of the back. Five, right through here. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, five per side head turns, 10 count total. Ready and begin. We're gonna go one, center, two, center, three, center, four, center, five, center, six, center, seven, center, eight, center, nine, center, and 10, center. Good, we kind of got that neck stretched out a little bit. Now for our warm up, we're gonna do three exercises for one minute each. You can be seated or standing. Um, I'll do 30 seconds seated and then the 30 seconds standing. Um, you can do that with me or you can pick which one you like uh, better for your needs, okay? First one's gonna be easy, march in place. All right, so opposite hand and foot. Um, pattern here, if you're advanced, you may even wanna hold your dumbbells while you're doing this, okay? All right, so here we go. Three, two, one, we've got one minute of marching it out. Okay, so make sure it's that opposite hand and foot is going, okay? Just getting the internal temperature of the body up, all right? And also working on a little bit of coordination. Okay, so remember at the 30 second marker, I will be standing up. You do not have to stand up with me if you don't want to. Um, you pick what's good for you. Almost halfway. Good, all right, 30 seconds in. I'm gonna stand for the remainder of the time. Trying to pick those knees up nice and high. Get those arms swinging. We have 15 more seconds here. And then we're gonna to go to lateral side bends, okay? So it's gonna look the same seated or standing. I'm gonna go back to seated for 30 seconds. Lateral side bends in three two and one okay so we're just side bend side okay so you can do this standing i'm just going to show the first 30 seconds seated okay so you should feel a nice stretch through the side of the body here we've got a minute of this go at your own pace okay you don't have to follow my tempo if it feels too slow or too quick for you just really trying to reach up and over through those fingertips for 30 seconds in, so I'm going to stand for the remaining 30 seconds. Our next warm up exercise is going to be cross body punches. Okay, so now we're going to get the, the next minute and the final minute, we're going to get some rotation through the body. And again, for 30 seconds, I will be seated. And then the last 30 seconds, I'll be standing, but it does look the same seated or standing. Three, Two, one. Okay, here's our cross body punches. Okay. You can remain standing if that's a better level for you. But feel that twist, okay? We're warming up our body with the marching in the front forward back plane. 
The lateral side bends is our side to side plane of movement. And now these cross body punches are our rotational movement. Okay, so there's three planes of movement. 30 seconds in, so just stand for the next 30 seconds. And then we're going to get into our first block. And I switched up our blocks today a little bit as far as format goes. Well, not, not crazy. We're just going to be doing all 45, 15 blocks today. We've got four nine minute blocks. Okay, so no shorter blocks today. Two and one. Good. There's our warm up. Go ahead and get a drink while we, um, while I explain our first block. Okay. I'm going to do the first round seated, like always, and the second two rounds I will be doing standing, okay? So you just pick what level's good for you, okay? I will demonstrate both seated and standing real quick here, though, okay? Our first one, seated, is going to be leg extension, leg extension, bicep curl, okay? Leg, leg, curl. If you don't have uh, dumbbells or water bottles, that's okay. Just give me the curl without the weight, okay? All right, now, if you're, if you're doing the uh, standing version, you're gonna sit, it's a sit, squat, and curl. Okay, so as I'm sitting down, I'm curling up. It's pretty fluid, okay? You should get the hang of it pretty quick here, okay? So that is our standing variation there. You're gonna go at your own pace, okay? So you're kind of curling up as you're sitting down, okay? All right, um, after that, this is our hinge pattern today, like our RDL, but I've switched it up to a, it's called a total body extension, but I want you to think of that hinge. We're just gonna add our arms into it today, and we're lifting up. So we're gonna, if you're seated, I'm towards the edge of my um, bench, my legs are extended somewhat out. All right, and I'm gonna exhale as I lift up. And you can even come up on your toes a little bit, okay? All right, so that's our seated version. Standing, it's like you're going to jump, okay? See how I come back? Here's my hinge, right? I'm pushing my butt back, and then I lift up. I try to come up onto my toes. Go at a pace that's comfortable for you. This will bring up the intensity for you. You should feel that, and it, it's challenging to come up on your toes. You have to find your balance here, okay? All right, so that's our total body extension. And then our third exercise is our seal jack. Okay, so standing, and of course, you can always add a couple regular in if you're advanced. Okay, all right, so that is our first nine minute circuit. We're starting with our sit squat to um, and bicep curl. I'm doing a seated variation, with, which is an alt leg extension to a bicep curl for the first round. So, 45 seconds is going on the clock. Pick your level. Here we go in three, two, and one, we are on. So I'm doing the seated variation for round one. I'm keeping my foot flexed so that I feel the top of my leg engage here. Remember the weights are optional. You can do this all body weight. As long as we're getting those joints moving and squeezing those muscles, telling those muscles to contract. Good. It's all about getting our brain to command our central nervous system to make those muscles move, right? That keeps us nice and uh, healthy with our movements. Two and one. Okay, next is that total body extension, okay? So I'm doing the seated version. So I'm on the edge of my seat and I'm hinging forward and my arms come up and I'm gonna come on my toes, okay? Three, two, one, you'll find, especially if you're doing the standing variation, you should find this actually um, really increases your heart rate. And you, you, it, it's, you're trying to find that balance of coming up on your toes with your hands over your head. It really creates a, a strong core engagement factor there. So go at a pace that's good for you, okay? If you feel like you're... Um, getting a little dizzy, maybe in your standing, maybe do this from a seated position. I like this one because it promotes core, cardio, and shoulder mobility and hip mobility all in one. Three, 
two, and one. Okay, seal jacks are next. Okay, so now we're gonna side to side, all right? And five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. All right, so again, if you're advanced, you might throw a couple regular jacks in there too. Tailor this to what works for you. I encourage you to make this your own. And you should really be feeling the back of the shoulders when you do these, right? You should feel that squeeze in the back of the shoulders as you're opening up. I'm also working those legs in that lateral position as we're working on our glute medius. Again, super important for balance hip support, knee support, okay? Let's go do these lateral movements. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're going back to the top, okay? So you're if you're staying seated, you're doing the alternating leg extension with the bicep curl. Um, I am moving on to the standing variation. So sit, squat, and curl. And three, two, and one. I'm going to curl as I tap up. All right, I'm not trying to spend too much time um, on the chair, right? I'm just trying to kind of pat my glutes down and then drive up. Remember, you want to be able to kind of wiggle your toes and your sneakers, and the weight is in the heels of your foot as you drive up. Excellent. We're going into total body extensions next. That's five, four, three, two, and one. Good, recover, okay? I'm gonna come from this profile on the side so you see what my body looks, profile looks like from the side view, okay? So my body extensions in three, two, begin. So my feet are hip width apart, whether you're seated or standing, and I'm hinging forward, so my shoulder and head come forward, my back stays flat, and I'm trying to let my glutes look, search for the wall behind me. You almost pulls at the top on your toes. You'll find it should feel hard to balance on your toes with your hands over your head, especially when you're stopping um, in place from that movement. So we're working our hamstrings and our glutes and our shoulder mobility and core with this one. Two and one. Okay, moving on to seal jacks next. My heart rate feels elevated. I hope yours does too. Here we go. And five, four, three, two, and one. Seal jacks. You can keep it right here. From standing or seated position. If you're advanced, you might be doing standing side to side and not regular. Okay. Think what's good for you. We have one more round to go through just like this before we break. So today I'm mixing our strength exercises in with our conditioning exercises. 10 more seconds here. Three, two, and one. Good, shake it out. We have one more time through. Okay, so back to your alternating leg extension to curl for the seated option or your sit squat and curl for your standing option, okay? And three, two, and one. Here we go. Last time doing these, make them count. Stay connected to your body. As you tap down, come into that curl. Drive up through the heels and squeeze the glutes at the top. So you feel your quadriceps, your biceps, your heart working right now, your glutes working. And go at a pace that's comfortable for you. Remember, you can always stop a little bit early, okay? Or start a little bit late with these exercises. It's about the quality over how many reps you're getting in. There's five, four, 
three, two, and one. Okay, moving on to our total body extensions. Okay, so we're gonna hinge it forward. Feet are hip width apart, whether you're seated or standing. We're gonna hinge forward, two, one, and come all the way up. Try to come up onto our tippy toes. You feel that momentum from the arms swinging. And then you come up on your toes and you come into this dead stop. It really, really challenges your core. It's a great exercise. Okay, 15 more seconds here. If it becomes too challenging and you need to take standing up on your toes out, that's fine. Okay, just. Make it work for you. Two and one. Excellent. Okay. Seal jacks are next. After this 45 seconds of work, we're going to break and go into our next block. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Begin. Work at a level that's good for you. I want you to think about the back of your shoulders as you open up those arms, okay? Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Working on healthy posture habits. You do not have to add this jumping like I am. You can stay right here too, okay? We've got 15 more seconds and we're gonna get a drink. I'm starting to feel my heart rate go up now, feeling nice and warm through the body. Almost there. And time. Okay, go ahead and get a drink. I'm gonna explain our next, our next block here. Okay, so remember all our blocks are gonna be the same format today. They're all 45, 15 for nine minutes. So it's three rounds through, three exercises. The next one we are doing is going to be a shoulder crossover. So the first thing we're gonna do, whether you're seated or standing, is opposite hand on opposite shoulder, and then the other, okay? So now you're going to twist over and kick the leg, okay? So the side that you're twisting to is the leg that lifts up, okay? All right, and then alternate, okay? All right, you should feel your core working big time on this one, standing, okay? I like to do a nice strong exhale as I'm rotating. Okay, so you've got your seated or standing option there. All right, the next one, we're gonna work on shoulders, front and back. We're gonna do, I like to call this my goal post fly because when you open up, it looks like a football goal post. Okay, so we're gonna start here. We're gonna open, press, back down, close. Okay, so that looks the same, seated or standing. This is gonna get the front, and the back of our shoulder all in one movement, okay? And then the last one is a tricep kickback. So seated, you're just leaning forward, elbows stay close to the body, and you're kicking back, extending the arms straight. That looks the same if you're in your standing variation, okay? All right, so they are our next three exercises. So we're gonna start with that core exercise, that crossover thoracic twist. So let's go ahead and get ready for that. I'm gonna do the first round seated. Hands are crossing over the shoulders here. And then remember the side that you're rotating is the, is the side of the leg that goes up, okay? Here we go, three, two, and one. Begin. Remember, exhale as you rotate. All right, kind of feel that waist cinch in from blowing the air out of your stomach as you rotate. Go at a pace that works for you. A lot of coordination with this one. We're gonna go into that goal post T fly next with the overhead pressing. List five, four, Three, 
two, and one. Okay, optional weights here, okay, like hair weights or uh, water bottles or soup cans, whatever you got there, okay? Coming up into that bent elbow position, we're gonna pull back and begin. Coming into that goal post, overhead press, back down and in. Good. Two, four, so it's a four count. One, two, three, four. We're working the top of the shoulders, the front of the shoulders, and the back of the shoulders, all with this one movement. Be done with body weight too. You do not need to hold on to the, the dumbbells or water bottles if you don't if you don't have them. Ten more seconds here. Woo, I'm feeling my shoulders now. So we got two more rounds of this. Two and one. Okay. Going into our tricep kickbacks, okay? So you're kind of hinging forward. All right, I'm gonna do it from this profile here. My elbows are close to the rib cage. Again, you can do this body weight. Two, one, you're just gonna lengthen the arms and really squeeze the back of the arms when you're in that full extension of the arm. So the only joint that's moving in the body right now is the elbow joint. And you're working the back of the arm. After this exercise, that completes round one. So I will be moving on to standing for the next two rounds, but please stay at the level that is best for you. I encourage you to make it your own and tailor it any way that you see fit here too. And one, okay, so back to the beginning. We're going to that shoulder crossover with that thoracic twist and alternating kick, okay? We're twisting over the leg that's kicking out, okay? Three, two, and one. You should really feel that core engagement because you're twisting and bouncing on one foot, which really leaves you no choice but to use your core. We're halfway. Remember to exhale on those twists. Blow the air out of your stomach. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Okay, good. Going back to that goal post fly to overhead press. Okay, seated or standing, this looks identical. Let's get ready. Starting position in three, two, and one. We're gonna open, press, bring it back. Good. This is a great exercise, even if you're not using weights, you're getting your shoulder joint to move in multiple directions. Feeling the burn, we got 10 more seconds here. Three, two, and one. Okay, tricep kickbacks are next. Okay, seated or standing. Gonna keep those elbows nice and close to the rib cage. All right, and bend forward. Here we go. In three, two, one, and kick back. Straighten those elbows and really tell the back of your arm to squeeze when you're in that lengthened position. Good, 15 more seconds here, and then we're gonna go through this one one more time. Three, two, 
M1. Okay, final time with that ab exercise. Okay, that thoracic twist with that kick, seated or standing. Let's get ready. Putting those shoulders, fingers on the shoulders, crossing over, and in three, two, one, we're gonna twist and kick. Make sure you're exhaling as you twist. Work those deep core muscles. We're past halfway. Less than 10 seconds. Five, three, two, and one, good, okay. Last round, that goal post fly to overhead press, okay? Let's get into our starting position here and in three, two, one, we're gonna open up, press it up and then bring it back. Keeping your core engaged and if you're standing, you're really squeezing your glutes too, right? So. Almost like if somebody were gonna come up, if, if say, say you have a grandkid that's gonna run up and charge and try to give you a hug, like you're bracing yourself that you're not gonna fall backwards when they come forward and give you a big hug, right? <laughs> Holding on to that core and those glutes. Ooh, I am feeling my shoulders. We're almost done this one. We've got five seconds, three, Two and one, excellent. Okay, all done with those, shake that. We got triceps next. Okay, so seated or standing, we're gonna go ahead and hinge it forward, all right? Elbows close to the rib cage here and let's go ahead and kick back, begin. We're gonna break after this and go into our next circuit. Really talking to my triceps. I'm telling them when my arms are extended straight, whether I have weights in my hands or not, I'm saying contract, squeeze. All right, talk to the muscle. All right, that is the hard wiring for our body. That's how we, we connect our mind to our central nervous system and our central nervous system then makes our body actually perform what our mind is telling it to do, okay? so. Three, two, and time. Okay, get a drink, guys. We are moving on, all right? Um, somewhat new exercise today. Definitely new for the seated variation. Um, we've been, to, I've started to introduce lunging for our standing variation too, but today we're going to do static lunge. It's gonna be a little bit harder. Um, but first, let me start with your seated. So for 45 seconds on the same leg, your seated option is, I'm kind of on the edge of my seat here, so I have room to work my legs, okay? I'm going to lift it up and then press it out and then bring it back and tap it down. So lift, press, back, tap. Lift, press, tap, back, okay? So you're gonna feel on the lift part, you're gonna feel your hip flexor in the top of your leg. And then on the press part, I want you to keep your heel flex. Like you're really trying to push something away from you and you're gonna feel your glute work, okay? So all in one leg. Now, the next 45 seconds is gonna be the other leg. Your standing variation. You may want to, I'm just gonna demo this way. You may want to hold onto a chair here. Um, you may not need to, okay? I just want you to, you know, splits, uh, squats are challenging, okay? so. We're just coming up and down, up and down. What I want you to think of is that front leg, this is the leg you're working, the one that's up front. And I, my, I can wiggle my toes in my shoe here because just like our sit squat, I'm pressing through the heel of my foot as I lift myself back up. That's gonna help me engage my glute, okay? All right, so if you don't need, you may only need one hand on the bench, right? And you hold a dumbbell in the other hand, right, on your chair. You could do that. 
And maybe you don't need any balance. Maybe you can just do it without holding on to anything. I, I, that's where I encourage you to find what works best for you. Okay, after we do those, our next exercise is bent over rows. So if you're seated, just like our tricep kickback, you're gonna hinge forward, all right? And this time, instead of kicking back, we're gonna pull those elbows back and up, all right? For a bent over row, working our back, all right? Same thing standing, here we are, okay? So that's our next block, all right? Your legs should be working. We're doing a full 45 seconds on one leg. So starting with our split squat, or you're joining me with the, the seated version for the first round that I'm gonna do here. We're gonna lift, press, bring it back, okay? All on the same leg, okay? So once you put your feet in position, they kind of stay where they're at, okay? You're just gonna lift and lower. Here we go. In three, two, and one. Let's begin. So seated, I'm lifting, pressing through the heel, and back. And if you're standing, again, these can get, these can really burn. If you're not used to doing a split squat, ooh, you should feel the, the front of your leg should start to feel that. So that's why I encourage using something like a, a wall, a chair, something for a little bit of balance. But if this is something that you do regularly, you may not need anything to balance yourself. You may be used to this and that's, that's great too. All right, we're just gonna take our level. And if you're seated with me, my leg is working right now. I am feeling it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, shake it out. The next 45 seconds is going to be the other side, okay? So again, if you're seated, I'm kind of on the edge of the chair, so I have room for my leg to move around. Here we go, three, two, one. I'm gonna pick it up, press through the heel, bring it back and down. We're halfway. These could quite possibly be our most challenging one today. Whew. Last three, two, and one. Okay, break from that lower body. We're gonna go into a bent over rows and do this first set seated. So we're just hinging forward, pushing our hips back, okay? With or without weight, here we go. Three, two, one. We're gonna keep the elbows close to the body and pull them up and back. Your prime mover is the muscles that you are move, that are working the most right now or your back muscles. Your arms are actually secondary to this movement despite you seeing your arms moving the most. Think about where your head and neck is. Are you kind of trying to keep your neck in line with your spine? I'm looking at a focal point on the floor in front of me that kind of keeps my head in a, <clears throat> excuse me, in a straight line with my spine here. Two and one. Okay, that's round one. We're gonna go back to the top. All right, I'm gonna go, so it's that seated leg um, lift to press if you're uh, seated or seated. And if you're standing, you're doing a static lunge. Two and one. Okay, so I'm going to do a standing variation now. All right, so again, the weight is in the heel of your foot. That leg that's up front is doing the majority of the work. That doesn't mean you won't feel it in the leg that's, that's back. All right, but think about pressing through the heel of your foot and squeezing that glute. Should feel your quad working, your quad and your glute. If you need to take a little rest at the top. Your legs burning a lot. You can do that. Okay. And we're just looking for the quality repetitions, not the ones that kind of feel like your form comes off. Okay. Rest. We got it the other side to do now. We're getting prepared by getting into that split stance position. 
Three, two, one. Here's another tip, okay, with your split stance. Make sure there's space between your front and back leg, meaning that um, your feet are about hip width apart, okay? You don't want your feet to be one in front of the other because that kind of takes away your stability. And also, since I'm keeping the weight in the heel of my foot and driving up, you don't want your heel popping off the floor. If it's popping off, you might need to open up your stance a little bit more, step that back leg back a little bit more so that I can stay flat on the ground. Almost done. Three, two, one. Okay. Shake it out. Get a little rest from the lower body here. We're going to go back to our bent over rows. I feel my heart rate go up on those. Third, the split lunges are not, squats are not an easy exercise. They're challenging. Here we go. Two and one. Bent over rows. Seated or standing. Elbows stay close to the body. I'm thinking your back muscles. That wrap around your rib cage, kind of that area in the back, is pulling these elbows back and up. We have one more round to go through after this. Ten more seconds here with the rows. Three, two, and one. Okay, final round. If you're sitting, you're doing that knee raise to leg press, okay? And then bringing it back down all on one leg. And if you're standing, we're doing that split squat. Here we go. Three, two, and one, let's go. Remember, even though that one leg is forward and the other leg is back, you still have about a hip width distance apart between your um, between your legs, okay? Think of on a train track, instead of your front foot and your back foot, back foot being on one railroad tie, think of them as being on the front foot on one railroad tie, the back foot being on the other. That's what I mean by that space in between, okay? Pressing through that heel. Almost on three, two, whew, and one. Okay, shake it out. We're all done with that side. We just got to even out. All right, get yourself in position. We start in three, two, and one. Lower down, drive it up. And the legs hard with this one. Nice thing about single leg exercises is they help close the gap of any muscle imbalances that we have because your stronger side can't help out because you're working one side at a time. 10 more seconds here. Three, two, and time, excellent. We're all done with those split lunges or the modification. Last um, set of bent, bent over rows, and we have one more block. We're almost done. Bent over rows in three, two, and one. Here we go. Elbows close to the body, pulling those elbows up and back. Think about your back muscles being the prime movers of this exercise. Your biceps are your secondary muscle helping you here. 15 more seconds, then we break, get a drink, and go into our last five minute block. Last five, four, three. Two and one. Excellent. Recover here. Okay, when you guys are recovering, I'll go ahead and talk about our final block. 
This one is not new. It is our butt kicker with that mid row. Okay, so from our seated position, you're kind of on the edge of your chair. Okay, your legs are out um, are out far so that you can toe tap back. Right, we're working our hamstrings right here. You can toe tap back. Okay, and we're also working our um, upper back and the back of our shoulders, our posture by doing this mid row right here, okay? So standing, all right, there it is. Nothing new, we, we know this one. Okay, um, after that, this one, optional weight, okay? You're gonna do a heel tap to an alt press. So it's opposite heel and opposite hand, okay? So it's going to be, I'm tapping onto my heel, tap. Tap, remember the weights are optional, okay? And then if you're standing, so it's tap, 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 okay? So opposite heel tap, opposite press, okay? And then our last one is our side steps to move squats, okay? So if you're, if you're um, seated, we're gonna side step, side step, and we're just gonna stay with the side steps today. All right, we just did those let those static lunges. So we're gonna stay right here with those. And if you're standing with or without weights, side step, side step. Okay, that's our final block, guys. So starting with that butt kicker in mid row, kind of now we're gonna do round one seated. Here we go. In three, two, and one. Okay, this is a body weight one. Getting the posterior side of the body here, the back of the shoulders, the middle back, upper middle back, as well as the hamstrings. And the heart, right? These are the these are our conditioning exercises to get all these joints moving simultaneously. That's gonna get your heart rate up, get that blood pumping. 10 more seconds here. Five, three, two, and one. Okay. Optional weights here. We're doing that alternating press, right? With a heel tap forward. So instead of tapping the toe back, we're bringing the heel back. We're gonna heel tap forward. Three, two, one, opposite hand and opposite foot. Good, we're halfway. Ten more seconds here. Hopefully you're feeling your shoulders like I am. Three, two, and one. Okay, last one in the circuit is our side step sumo squats. If you're standing with or without weights. Um, if you're seated, we're just going to go ahead and tap from side to side here in three, two, one, begin. So here's our seated version. So I'm really trying to pay attention when I'm doing the seated variation to the sides of my glutes right here. Okay. That's called your glute medius, right? Instead of three muscles in your glute, it's not the smallest, it's the middle size one. And again, it's a big con contributor in your balance, okay? And keeping your hip and your knee joints healthy. Five more seconds here. Four, three, two, and one, okay. Back to the top. I'm going to go to standing for these ones now. We're doing our butt picker with that mid row. It's like a robo row. Okay. Where so you're tapping back on that toe if you're doing the seated option. Two and one. Begin. So you're shifting that weight side to side.
You can try to get that heel up to your glute, okay? Really making that hamstring work. And also stretching out the quadricep. I like doing this one after our static lunges because it kind of, if you had any burning in the top of your leg from doing those lunges, this helps, that's called lactic acid. That's what that burning is. This helps kind of flush it out, okay? Three, two, and one, okay. Going to our opposite hand and foot, we've got the heel tap and the um, alternating overhead press, okay? Seated or standing. Let's get ready, three, two, and one, tap. So this is our shoulder exercise, coordination, and a little bit of a calf stretch here. This can be done seated or standing. Excellent. I feel the shoulders talking to me now. We got 10 seconds. Two and one. Good work. Okay. We got six side step sumo squats, or if you're seated, we're doing those lateral taps. Okay. Again, you're kind of when you're doing the sumo squats, you're working the whole leg, but we're, we're focused on here. Okay, three, two, one. All right. Let's breathe. Move in those lateral directions. We gain access to working the glute medius. There's one more round to get three after this. And then we'll stretch and we're done. Ten more seconds. Last five. Two and one. Okay, guys. Back to that butt kicker and mid row. Okay, so we're tapping back, right? If you're seated and if you're standing, we're trying to bring that heel up towards our glute. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Everything we do now is last time through. I'm gonna say we got 15 more seconds. It's 10. Three, two, and one. Okay. This time with the alternating press and the heel tap. Okay. Opposite hand and foot. Get ready in five, four, three, two, and one. So, Good, we're halfway through this one. We got this. Last 10 seconds. And five, three, two, and one. Okay, final exercise is our side step sumo squats. For those lateral taps, if you're in the seated position, here we go. Five, four, three, two, begin.
We're halfway. We got this. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, nice job, guys. Nice job. We're gonna just do a couple stretches here, okay? The first one we're gonna do, you can do them seated or standing. I think I'm gonna sit for them. Um, we're gonna go ahead and open up like our goal post, okay? And we're gonna, first we're gonna open and close, okay? This is a static or dynamic stretch. We're gonna do five, four, three, two, and on one, we're gonna hold up and hold, okay? So I want you to think of keeping your core tight, okay? I want you to think of your chest coming forward, like you're feeling some stretch through your front here, okay? And we're just gonna hold. Stretching out the front of the shoulder. And release, good. Now we're gonna do our neck and traps. We're gonna press and pull here, okay? So just gently applying some pressure to the top of my head. And as I reach down and stretch um, with the um, other arm there, and just feel that nice gentle stretch through your neck here. And a big inhale and exhale. Good, let's do the same thing on the other side. Gently pulling and pressing. And a nice big inhale and exhale. Good. And then coming out of that. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to stretch out the back of the shoulder by coming across the body, all right? Holding onto that arm and visualizing the back of that shoulder blade. Okay, I want you to kind of think about the muscle fiber stretching. You'll get a little bit more out of it when you're when you're connected, right? Your mind, because what, what's happening is your mind is actually connecting to your central nervous system and you're connecting your mind and your muscle connection together, right? So the way that helps when, when, when you do that and really stay connected to your body, let's get the other side, uh, that really helps you stay in control of your body, right? Like, so your body doesn't start moving. Like, have you ever experienced maybe your you're walking on a treadmill and you look to the right and all of a sudden your whole body wants to go to the right or something like that. Um, the more we can try to connect and focus our mind to our body, the more control we have over those little types of, of situations, okay? All right, good. All right, here, we're just gonna gently hold on to the back of our head. I'm gonna tuck my chin and I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna stretch my upper back out right here. And breathe. Good, and then we come back forward. All right, and then we'll go ahead with the legs here. So we're going to a hamstring stretch. You can either sit on the edge of your chair, flex the foot and try to bend forward. Or if you're um, able to, you can always like hold onto the back of your chair and, and stretch like this as well. Okay, you just pick what works better for you, okay? So stretching the back of the leg here. And then we're going to go ahead and switch sides. Okay, so again, on that seated position, you're on the edge of the chair, you're bending forward, you're flexing the foot, trying to bend forward here. And again, if you're a little bit um, more agile, you might be doing it from a standing position here, okay? All right, final stretch. Let's go ahead and get our um, hip flexor. So from the seated still on the edge of the chair, we're gonna extend that one leg out and lateral. We're gonna feel that stretch down the side. You can even do this standing, holding onto the back of your chair as well, okay? Just figure out what, what you know feels best for you here, okay? Getting that groin and inner thigh. Good, and then the other side here. Bending that leg that's straight. The leg that's straight is the one that's really feeling that deep stretch. Might notice one side's a little tighter than the other. 
That's that's normal. And good, relax, guys. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed it today. I just tried to. Hi everyone, this is Z from Yonkers Public Library. Thanks so much to Sally Pinto and Alexis and Barbara from NORC. Thank you to our community partners, WJCS, the City of Yonkers Office for the Aging, Westchester County Legislator Ruth Walter, Friends of Crestwood Library, and Yonkers Public Library for making this phenomenal partnership. And we thank each and every one of you for being part of our wellness community. Be well, stay well.